And it's like if I eat shit, I have to train that day. That's the other rule. Yo, <laughs> don't know what I was doing. Um, so this is my final episode here with the channel. Um, oh, well, yeah, for now. For now, for now. Okay, Jesus let's Christ. the final one. I'm gonna be back in like five months. So. It's not so long. I promise, swear upon my heart, I'm not gonna pull Daniel. I disappear for a year and a half. And By the way. <laughs> so wait, is the right owner? Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> This is Psyched, which is going to be the company made by Eric and Eamon together. Um, this is the first round of merchandise that we're getting, which is some cool t-shirts and then also some like freaking amazing hoodies. Yeah, but the t-shirts are freaking amazing fit. Dude, I said sick, sick t-shirts or something. The stuff up there to the left of the wave, or left of the tunnel is fresh, right? Yeah, and it's off the four now, so we don't have the ladder either. Then it would be kind of nice to be up there. Yeah. Cool. Migrate. Yeah, I, do. I need to get the mid, mid for editing. Are you gonna join us? Of course I am. Are you gonna help me carry my bag? I guess I have. To. Yes. <laughs> we need like action to efficient if I completely stop to take my shoes off. Today is going to be a bit of climbing and then also a bit of explanation for like why I'm just carrying off to Hawaii for the next five months or so. So for like number one, the the Swedish winter is massively depressing. He did my tattoo. Um, how's it going, dude? <laughs> Which didn't affect me so much last year, and this year it's just been like motivation killer and had a lot of issues with it. And then also, as much as I have loved and enjoyed working at the climbing center, it's it gets old. It's a lot of very repetitive work, and the people that I worked with was made it so amazing for so long. But it just got to the point where I needed to do something new. So I had the opportunity to Climb rocks. The ability to climb rocks. Um, sarcasm. But my, uh -huh. I have some family that moved to Hawaii, and they're like, yeah, like we have space nicking, so why don't you come up? And originally I thought it was a joke, and it was like, haha, okay, guys, sure. And then we just started to think about it, and it started to really appeal to me because I've only lived in a mountain skiing town and like a cold ass. Sweden capital place. So I've never actually lived in like a tropical area. So it'll be fun to see how that is. I figured I could like do some climbing now. And then I'll figure out what, like what I'm gonna be doing there. <laughs> like new section, plan gonna start at the bottom, like seven A's or so, and then just try and flash everything up to seven C plus. I think yeah. is the hardest. Oh, <laughs> so sloppy, <laughs> so sloppy. So as you might have noticed, like my head's not actually in the climbing so much today. I've got a lot of other things on my mind. So everything here looks quite powerful, as Eric said. It's a lot of crimps, it looks like, and kind of a lot of like high body tension moves. We have to pull everything in and just tense really hard. So I'm gonna give that one another try without dropping my feet, and it should go. I saw like, the, the handhold out left last minute, so that was a... Uh, yeah, I was impressed. We all have missed it before. A nice catch. I was walking up and you're like, whoa! So... <laughs> <laughs> but now you can be in a video, Clara. Yeah, now I'm not injured. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. How does it feel? It's 100% or uh, healed or...? 90% <laughs> <laughs> So now you're gonna do the yellow or...? Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> what, what did you realize? Uh, go to the box, edge instead, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we tried that. I didn't notice it was an 8. So the yellow one, right? I guess next up? Yeah. 7B? A bit undecided because I was trying to like. I heard her ideas for beta, and I kind of had your ideas for beta, and then I got really confused between the two. So ended up okay. Have you tried the terracotta? Only in my mind, and helping people with beta. Ushan, it's uh, so the terracotta for this one. It's super old kind of holds. It looks like tiny crimps in kind of these like shallow dishes or pockets, and looks kind of tweaky. So. See if I can flash it or not. Oh, you skipped the. Uh, oh, you skipped the cream in the roof. Okay, I wasn't ready for that. Come here, Nikia. That a bunch. Yeah, I was ready for like the cream underneath the roof, <laughs> and then it's like didn't go there. I'm like, oh, okay. So what is the actual beta? You go yeah, and then you right bomb hand. like three times. Oh, yeah. But I mean that worked too. I mean finger strength does that yeah. for a lot of things. What I'm also going to be doing in Hawaii, besides trying to tan, it's gonna be unsuccessful. Yeah, impossible. <laughs> it's like if I can't get a tan in Hawaii, it's never gonna happen. I'm gonna be climbing outside a bunch. There's not actually a climbing gym on Maui. So I've I heard about a bunch of them, but maybe it's a different different island. Uh -huh. So I have to adjust to life not living 16 hours in a climbing gym per day. And I'm also going to start being an apprentice as an arborist and working in trees and doing all that kind of fun stuff. Which I never really thought about, but it seems like the natural calling for a for a climber. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. It'll be just like a short test period and see if I enjoy it or not. But the big thing is I want to start climbing outside a bunch. And I'm unsure if that's going to be boulders or ropes, but lots of outside. I bought a camera, so hopefully I'm going to be taking lots and lots of photos and then sending them to the website. And so you guys can see a bit more like what I'm staying busy with while I'm away from the channel. Pink, which is a 7B plus, but it also has like a one move 7C, 7C plus start. That, what? So I'm going to start with the harder start instead Okay. and see if it goes or not. Damn. I, uh... I need to get a bit of a better hand position on that. So the left hand is all the way up when I do that move. I had a toe on the bottom, which would have felt good, but I felt like I was dabbing on something, so I took it away. So for the next time, better hand position and then do it faster. Not hesitate so much. Doable? Maybe. I have to get my foot up first on the box. Higher to not let go of my feet. <laughs> I'm like dreaming up this, this move. 
It's always... I'm a bit scared, like, for the deep locks with shoulders. Yeah. I'm always, like, a little bit scared to completely commit to them. So I just need to really, like, focus on activating the shoulder for that move. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. It's, uh, I think I was very inefficient kind of around that box system and let all the weight go up to the left. So if I figure out something a bit better for that, it should be no issue. So I'll try the 7C plus right after this. Yeah. Well, that was like a five second rest, so let's see if I can actually do the 7C plus start now. I think I know, because when I go up with my left hand, that first move, if I just bump my left hand to the top of it immediately, I can just match in and then do the move. Instead of all this like crossing and matching shenanigans, yeah. it's wasted a bunch. So, chicken can climb up. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, just like bump up high worked pretty well. So next up, I think there's like another 70 plus I can get on right away. This green one, so it's just nasty ass crimps. <laughs> just nasty. It's actually just perfect for me. They're super slick, so it'll be just very precision based and very high body tension. It's like my least favorite hold set in the entire gym. So let's do it. 5,000 eyes though. Mm. Let's go. Ah! That's slick wrist, isn't it? Sick, yeah, super slick. I think that'll probably be the crux move of it. It's just like super slippery holds and then getting the bicycle that's kind of wide and then just getting the cross move. I'm just gonna hop on and try it. All right, so once I get there, it's not so bad. It's a very specific movement because you can't swing all the way out to it. So you kind of have to half swing, kill the momentum, and then just statically go around the corner. 
give it a rest and try it again. Um, super nice that actually in the beginning I was able to keep this foot on. It saved so much power. Almost came out because I felt the toe start slipping. It was like, ah! Pull in super hard and tense and pulled through. So I think next up is an 8A, this green one. So I'm gonna rest a bit, like take a look at the beta and I can tell already it's like nasty pinches. So like Emma should get over here and give it a whirl. <laughs> <laughs> we fixed uh, the white balance, guys. It's, uh, we'll see how long it lasts. Really, really powerful. I'm not actually convinced that's the beta. It was kind of the first thing that came to mind. But I think it could work. I just got the left toe a little bit too bad. So if I like really set that well, should hold. Should. You have out the box on the left. Then blast. <laughs> I think the end move is the hardest. <laughs> like really. Because <laughs> it's kind of very weird with the, the foot placement. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh! Mm. What happened? You know, like the tendon in the back of the knee? Yeah. It pops out? No. It pops out. It pops out, and then it pops back in. Oh, this oh. is a common thing. It used to happen every day, now it happens like once every two weeks. Jesus Christ. Oh. How, wow. old, how old are you again? Uh, 72. <laughs> That's terrible. It's like when I do like really funky knee movements, like that, like I did like an inverse knee drop. Ow. Come on. Usually it's best because I can just you hold down the tendon on each side of the knee and then you can kind of like slowly extend and it's painless but when you're like up on the climbing wall and you just kind of kick it out no bueno so you're gonna continue of course i'm gonna continue jesus that feels ridiculous like that feels completely absurd yeah, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Damn, just, that is... So that felt a bit better. I was actually able to hold it. So, what happened there, like, the toe popped out. Otherwise, I actually had pretty good body tension. So I think it's gonna look like, get that, it's like a crazy huck out with the right hand. To really shoulder remove and then it looks somewhat oh, over after that. So I'm gonna keep trying yep. this move in isolation and see if I can well, figure it out within like the next five tries or so. I thought we'll just call it's it a video. <laughs> like that shouldn't have worked. I am not Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I know you're strong, but I mean, you know, it's like... 
Yeah, I, I know, like that's like, that's EML strong, like I'm not EML strong. <laughs> so it kind of works, except like I haven't actually solved the sequence, but the moves out of the sequence that I have thought of work, so... Theoretically, it should go. So I think this actually requires like shirtless tries. Surprising enough, I know. But I feel bad, like it's such a light t-shirt already. It's just doing it for the stoke it, factor. It's a dream, it's the perfect t-shirt. This feels good, like this is such a cool problem. It's uh... Be like a freaking amazing last send to get. Before I go! Turn the ISO up! Yeah, uh, it's already fixed. <laughs> Adjustment. You got it. <gasps> Come on, dude. What the hell was that? <laughs> I, I was know. like, I'm gonna go for the hand flip, and you're just like, Bleh. fumbled the shit out of it. Oh my god. Jeez. Body touch. It's like such a different thing to start in that position than to actually swap the hand and get into it. I'm doubting my beta. <laughs> Maybe you should not climb this problem. Yeah, let's uh... Yeah. <laughs> I'm so surprised right now. How did this happen? How did I find myself in this situation? <laughs> um... Wow. I'm... I'm gonna call it a video there, actually. Okay, that's very mature of you. I'm proud. It's uh... I should have stopped it immediately. I didn't. I feel like I made some, some okay progress. But like twice, is, it's too much. So I just want to finish this video by saying thank you so much to you guys, to the community, to the viewers. Um, it's just like blown our expectations out of the water from this past year and a half in the response to the videos. And I love the community that we have. Like I reached out to people in on Insta and like everyone's replying like, yo, like check out this climbing gym. Like I'm from Hawaii, let's climb. And that's just like, it's so amazing and I love it. And I'm going to miss being in the videos so much and the entire crew, like everything here, but it's gonna be a good hands. Eric Carlson's gonna make some freaking awesome content. So hopefully I'm gonna be posting videos on the website and kind of doing no blog posts. You can still see what I'm up to. I mean, like I have to just like like, subscribe and comment and favorite Nick an episode. All right guys, I will see you soon. Peace.